discussion about polygons. I have a couple other videos that kind of lay out the basics and the beginning part of a polygon. What is a polygon? How can we use the polygon? Um, or what can we discover about the polygon? What are the different definitions we have, interactions? Uh, the different special types that we have. All right. So I'm just going to start here with this discussion talking about the sum of the interior angles. And there's a whole other video I can do that I'm going to post about the, and it's a very short process, all right, but the, the triangle is our basis here. And we're going to, on this particular video, we're going to go ahead and make the assumption that the three angles of that triangle add to 180. That's an assumption we're going to make here. It is a true assumption. It's not me making anything up. And I can prove that to you. Um, but right here, the, the idea is that angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. That's the idea behind it. All right? And we're going to use that idea to build everything else up. So when we talk about this next figure here, let's, let's say this is uh, D, M, Z, and K, right? What do those four angles add up to? Well, there's a couple different ways we can do this. Okay? My favorite is to do it this way. This is not the only one. Okay? I like to put a little mark right here. Okay? And draw a line there, there, and there. I'm going to draw a line to from each vertex. Those are that M, Z, K, and D R. Those are the vertexes. Those are the points. Those are the endpoints of the line segments that connect this figure together to make it closed. Right? I'm going to draw from the vertex to the center. It's not really the center or the middle or whatever you want to call it. It's just some arbitrary point I picked inside the figure. It does not have to be the center. It's just some arbitrary spot, meaning some randomly chosen location. And I don't, I don't even have to label it. We can. We'll, we'll call it a, I don't know, we'll call it E for fun, right? Um, I guess I should have called it F for fun, yeah? Anyway, so we have this interior uh, arrangement we have created here. And notice that we have one, two, three, four triangles. We know that the measure of each triangle has a sum of 180 for the three angles. So triangle MZE, right? Those three angles add to 180. Okay, so uh, triangle number one has a measure of 180. Well, so does triangle number two, right? Triangle number two here. Number two has a measure of 180, as does three, right? And then so does four. I don't know. This seems kind of like a pattern here or something like that, doesn't it? So when we do that, we notice that if we were to add up all these angles, this is what's really nice, right? Because we have an angle here, here, there, 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 there right? A lot of there's. Um, but those angles all sum together, and these right here in the middle, whatever that middle is, right? M E Z and Z E K and K E B and D E M. All those have a, all these angles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All twelve of those angles have a sum of one eighty plus one eighty plus one eighty plus one eighty, right? Well, that's 360 and 360, which is 720. So does that mean that quadrilateral, the sum of the interior angles of quadrilateral add to 720? Hmm. Something seems off, right? The thing that's off is the fact that we have these internal circular or the central angles, if you will. Let's call them central angles. I think it's a real math term, by the way. These central angles add in to this quantity as well, which they shouldn't because they're, we just want those angles on the outside of the figure there, or the, the inside of the figure, but they're the ones made up, not this, not the, not the central piece. So we, we've got to take that central piece out, right? And the thing is that we know a complete rotation is 360. So let's subtract off 360 from that, which gives us 360, all right? That's pretty nice, all right? That's cool, that's cool. What about this one? Again, we're going to pick some arbitrary spot, and I can even overemphasize that arbitrary spot by picking it way off center there. It doesn't matter where we pick that, but notice in this case we have one, two, three, four, five triangles, 
collectively adding to 180, or probably independently adding to 180, but collectively that'd be five times 180. We already know that four is 720, right? So 720 plus 180, well that's, uh, what is that, 1,000, right? 900? 900, yeah. So that's 900. Uh, that seems a lot. Oh yeah, we got that central angle again. Minus 360. So that's actually 540. And that's cool, right? You see what happened there? 180 and 180 plus 180. Oh, that's neat. What about if we had a hexagon? Well, that'd be six times 180. And each time we, we subtracted off 360, right? Here, this was four times 180 minus 360. And it was five times 180 minus 360. Now it's six times 180 minus 360. Again, because you got to subtract off that central collection of angles there. And in that case, it's just going to be, well, notice again, it's actually the same thing happening over here, right? I'm just going to add 180 again, which makes this, so that's 0, 8 plus 4, that's uh, 2, right? Carrier 1, let's so make that 720. Well, that's cool. Notice what we're doing here every single time. We're doing n times 180 minus 360. Isn't that neat? Now, there's a whole other way we can write this, by the way. Notice 180 and 360, they both have 180 in them. So we could actually reverse our distributive property there by taking out a 180, and then we have n minus 2. And that's actually maybe a simpler function for us to deal with. But think about what we have over there. We have three sides. Three minus two is one. One times 180 is 180. We have four sides. Four minus two is two. Two times 180 is 360. Five sides. Five minus two is three. Three times 180 is 540. So now we have this way of creating or figuring out how many angles. So if I, if I asked you what, uh, let's say, uh, Let's make the numbers nice. 102 sides, all right? We have 102 sides. So that'd be 180 minus 102 minus 2. I'm writing the video so I can make the numbers easy on myself, right? So that's 180 times 100, which gives us 180 and then two more zeros. So if we had 102 gone, the sum of the interior angles of that thing would be 18,000 degrees. Wow, that's a lot of turning, or that's a lot of heat. One of the two, but either way. So, these are our two equations here um, that describe the angle measurement in a polygon. And then we can also figure out if it's a regular polygon. If we go under the assumption that's a regular polygon, we can actually use this to figure out the angle measure of each one. So if we have a regular polygon, then it's just going to be 180 times n minus 2 over the number of triangle, number of sides it has. And that's going to tell us how or what the measure of each individual um, angle is of that regular polygon. And that is 180 there. All right? And then there's also other ways we can find this. Like, I, I just drew all the points to an arbitrary center piece. But what if we had done this way? What if I just connected from one vertex to the other. Look at that, I have two triangles, don't I? Two times 180. What if on the the hex, uh, on the pentagon, instead of drawing all the diagonals, what if I had, let me draw another one here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's a funky looking one, isn't it? So let's draw from one vertex. Look at that, I have one, two, three triangles. Five minus two is three. Three times 180 is 540. So two different ways you can actually figure out this exact same formula. All right? Now, this is neat stuff, I think, anyway. Um, you don't have to agree you would be wrong, but this is really neat stuff. So I hope you enjoy this. There's a lot more you can do with this. I encourage you to play around with these, these functions. I encourage you to back up the video and rewatch this and redo this process on your own on pencil and paper. It'll help solidify the process in your head a little bit. All right. Enjoy. Take care.